Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. It is Thursday, February 19th, 2015. There's no way I'm getting on the dash today. I'm so sorry. I know you're seeing a lot of this outfit lately. It's cold. I think it's a brisk seven degrees right now, said to get below zero later in Nashville. We're homebound. My husband's out here. We can't climb out of the driveway. Kids are here. I'm here. We're staying. So <laughs> this is the best that you get today. So everyone's kind of joking, and I know I'm from Chicago. I'm like, oh, there's hardly any snow on the ground, but it's the ice. It's the layers of ice and the refreezing. It just makes it a mess here, especially since I always say I think we share one snow plow with like Georgia and Alabama. So this is what we got. So news. I didn't really bring you the news yesterday other than the crazy snow that we had to drive in to get my mom to the airport. She did get home, thankfully. But lots of news to catch you up on today. First of all, as I mentioned, record lows. Over 100 records are supposedly going to be broken today because of the low temperatures. Uh, two have died from a superbug that is at UCLA. Some bug that's supposed to stay in your stomach. It's coming out from endoscopies. I don't know. Kind of crazy. Uh, there's President Obama has named a new head of the Secret Service. Um, a beagle named Miss P has won the Westminster Dog Show. And there's some other news. I know I felt like I had to catch you up. The other thing that's crazy, there's the FDA has approved an apple that when you cut into it does not turn brown. I mean, I'm all for advancements, but can we just leave our food alone, people, please? Okay, so loving, learning, doing. Two things I want to show you today. First of all, Alexander, can I get my camera people to say this title? Alexander in the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Thank you. I can never do it as well as they can. So I have to say, I had a hard time watching this movie. Ever since becoming a mom, I'm just not as good at watching like bad things happen in TV or movies. But the kids loved it, right? Mm -hmm. Audience, studio mm -hmm. audience, yes. Kids loved it. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I really love how it all came together in the end. So this is out on DVD. You can grab this now from Disney. And what we're learning right now, if you watched my Messiah Mystery unboxing yesterday, uh, you saw this yesterday was Lent, the start of Lent. So this is a great resource from Ever Thine Home and Family Life. It's called the Messiah Mystery by Barbara Rainey. First of all, it's beautiful. Second of all, I love it because I honestly don't know about the Lent season very much. And so this walks you through. What I love is that it uh, has sections that are for the whole family. Gorgeous, right? That are in bold. And then there's sections also for teens and adults too. So any age, this is great for. Comes with these notebooks. Comes with the magnifying glass. Can I just show off on my little girl here? Can we see the beautiful drawing of the garden that she did, the Garden of Eden. So this is her clue notebook that she did this drawing in, which I love. So that's what we're learning about right now. And what we're doing, I pretty much told you, unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, my husband has a show in Ohio with Plum, no, Missouri. So they're on the road in a sprinter. Pray to God they get there, okay? We're going to hopefully be cleaning up. There's some great recycled art pieces hanging around <laughs> the house from the Impromptu Blue Man group show that we had. Lots of laundry, lots of wet clothes. Yes, you can bring those in here since we're just doing it all up today. This is, um, we've had two art days. This is from the cardboard recycling, recycled art here. This is almost like a human ski ball. It kind of goes on your head and you have to throw something in the top. That doesn't work well with the clip in the hair. Do that. Can we see this whole thing here? Let me have a camera. And then this was cardboard recycling. They this. I don't know if I can grab this well. This is from the plastic recycling day. Can I put this on? It's sticking a little bit. This is from the Blue Man Group show, and it's this cool like drum thing. I don't know if I can play it very well. There's videos on Instagram if you want to see. But yeah. So the kids have had some great art days using our recycled materials. Again, why spend money on toys when you've got duct tape and cardboard boxes and plastic? So lots of fun to be had, but we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up today. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. I think I'm about to get cut off because I said that. I hope you make it great. Bye.